I'm Carmody, I'm from South East London and I'm a singer-songwriter. My name's Izzy Barrett, I'm a composer, baritone sax player. My name is Jasmine, I'm a fine artist. My name's Cecilia Knapp and I'm a writer. I'm Dom Howard, I'm an engineer, producer. My name is Marie Dalstrom and I am a singer and songwriter and I guess some people would say producer. I'm Troy Miller, I'm a musician, composer and music producer. I'm Scott Quinn, I'm a songwriter and an artist. I mean, yeah, that's terrible, but I'm not surprised, like, and that's the depressing thing about it. It shouldn't happen. It should be like, you know, an equal playing field, but knowing what I know or, you know, from experience or, or you know, what I've seen, um, it doesn't surprise me. My approach with all of this stuff is just common sense, and that just really bugs me because it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. I think that's great that they are finally, you know, nominated. Shocking. Um, but at the same time, this is, these are statistics that we come across a lot and, and it's disappointing that it's still a statistic. Companies get applauded for um, noticing women or rewarding women um, or people of colour um, when really it's something that should have been happening for a long time. And in a way, I think there's a fault in the praise that companies get for doing such things, because really it's not a big deal giving a woman an award. I think, generally, you would read that and think, well, then there can't be that many women that are directors. But, and I think that's the, that's the problem with society. We, we, we look at situations and we just interpret them in a very immediate way so that's what people think about jazz women don't want to play jazz that's why there aren't that many but as we get involved in the politics of what we do we realize that the reason that she's the first woman is because there's been there have been hidden barriers that the nomination process and the acknowledgement has not been given to women in the same way that it is men so much of your um work as a woman in a, in a creative industry is um is kind of about pushing through the kind of the systems that have that have stopped women from before getting there and so it doesn't shock it doesn't shock me at all it really doesn't i was reading like i think it's in a room of one's own but virginia wolf was like women so behind with like being authors and, and writing and um through history there's not as many books written by women as there are men um and that's because we're not writing in our language, like it's a patriarchal language that was created by men. So how can women exist in, in that place? Because it's not, it's not their language, it's not the language they would have. I don't know how much I believe in that, but it's kind of like stuck, like stayed with me. You are still creating um, in a patriarchal society, so maybe it's a society that isn't necessarily yours, but I guess you would never know what the <laughs> what the society would be that would be yours but I guess that does have an effect on women and it's not men's fault you know it's just how how it's all panned out. And society feels much more relaxed about um, praising championing men mm -hmm. it feels more awkward about championing women. And I bet the yeah I bet there's loads of women directors out there we don't even know or some cinematographer who are just kicking ass and we don't even know. I guess it's a progress we've got to see from the positive side right? Journalists, I've had one journalist actually say, jazz singer Izzy Barrett fronts her own band. I don't sing. Yeah, because we're not like, I mean, we're not raising our, our girls. We don't, we haven't cultivated a society yet that raises our women to, to think that they can do whatever. And I think that's, that's why there are fewer women in sectors like that. I feel like men has got a lot of work to do there. Like they have, they have to work on that. Why? Why though, like, why not just thinking as a musician and then waiting and then judging after you've heard the playing, you know? 
that but again we it's hard because it is just a, a cultural thing like it's a part of the structure of our society and it's just developed developed it's hard to blame anyone it's just the way it's been you know and now we need now we're all aware and now we're going to change it we put on a, an all-female um drum and bass night where we had all female djs and i feel like as much as at the moment that kind of thing needs to happen it's a shame that it needs to happen and it should just be like it's a dj or yeah. it's a musician yes. like they're they're all as good as each other and there's no reason to sh but there there you have to shine a spotlight on the females because they don't because there's such an assumption of like oh well it's just a, a, a man's world first thing is is the presumption that if you want to play jazz you have to play trumpet trombone saxophone bass drums guitar piano so no other instrument plays jazz and then those instruments are presumed as being boys instruments the trumpet trombone bass drums uh, and i know a lot of girls have been dissuaded from taking them up even though they wanted to and i've had to really fight to play them so you put the combination together of to play jazz you have to play that instrument but that instrument isn't played by a girl hey presto already before we've even met any of them they've been dissuaded from playing we do have to um, acknowledge that men and women are different and embrace that and celebrate that um, because the more we do that you know the more women will feel comfortable to be who they are and accepted and you know that's showing men who are perhaps ignorant or apathetic um, that you know gender is is not an issue gender is not um, has nothing to do with the art but at the same time it's important to embrace who women are and what they bring to the table which is something different from what a, a man can I feel like it's it's probably untrue. I, I think that it's probably more that women don't gain full credit for their work. So a prime example from a lot of composers, women composers I know, and it's not just in jazz, it's across the board, um, frequently are asked, once you've written the melody, who writes the rest of the composition? A lot of people will say, oh, well, there are less girls are interested in these subjects. You look at the first you know, people to really, when we talk about pushing boundaries, the, the first people that were, you know, uh, making electronic music production. There were women, you know, at the top of their field who should be, and yeah, are starting to be celebrated now, but should have been at the time, and probably there wasn't enough, you know, progression in society to be like you know you putting them up on a pedestal and saying look these women are role models to other women and i think there hasn't been enough of that and that's probably why like things like computer sciences or production or whatever um, are seen as male uh, sort of areas my take is that a lot of women nowadays make it a thing in their when they release music they say produced by me, mixed by me, they, they put up all the things. Um and it's I think that's that is a good thing, but at the same time I think like you shouldn't really have to do that. Um it should just be like you say a natural thing that of course a woman could be capable of doing those things too. I've only worked with I can probably count on one hand over the past year female writers and producers that I've been put in with. Ironically, I've actually worked with a lot of female artists and writers when doing it off my own back in terms of let's say it's the tear down when I first started when I was kind of sourcing my own writing and stuff like that but as soon as it went up a notch and I was published I just seen a lot of guys and and it's not because the skill set isn't out there you've got people like Maggie Rogers writes her own stuff records her own stuff produces her own stuff Lapsley is another sound example I think she mi mixed and mastered her own stuff as well like and I'm not saying it's not like a surprise but like I know loads of guys who can't do that 
But for me, it's not a tit for tat thing. It's not like a who's better. But then it's the whole discussion. It's like guys aren't better than girls. Girls aren't better than guys. Some are, some aren't. It's nothing to do with gender. It's just skill set. But the problem is people aren't giving them a fair opportunity. The other area where I've seen it is um, orchestration. And most of the people I know have their list of orchestrators is solely male. Even female initiatives, you know, uh, when they need an orchestrator, they will default to a male. And I said, well, but there are so many amazing women orchestrators. So <clears throat> it's helping put, you know, a directory of names together for people to refer to. Because one of the biggest problems with the barriers is if you're in a um, stressful situation, you've got a deadline to meet, you've got a budget to keep to, you know, those pressures can often make you default to what you know already. And it's that defaulting that's implementing those barriers. I think a lot of women and a lot of minorities in general um, find it difficult to take ownership of their work because all their life they've been suppressed. So if you do something amazing, it's easy to, to pass it off or to give it to someone else. They can literally record themselves, produce themselves, put their own music out and they don't need anyone else. Um, and the fact that people still just assume that there must be a guy you know involved somehow who's your manager like or whatever or, or yeah. your producers I think we've got miles and miles to go I think it is I think it's ill-advised to to say that it's getting better like well obviously it is getting better but it's not good enough like it feels like such a a, a feeble thing to say it's getting better it's not good enough i mean it's a continuous thing isn't it you can't really turn you can't really l l lean back and just go right i think we've done enough now yeah it's all it's fine now <laughs> we can we can go back to how we were no I think it's 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 an ongoing thing um I do I would definitely say that we have a long way to go um and again I think that there's a big problem with as a woman or a woman of color or a man of color or whatever a minority in general I do feel like there's a certain pressure on you to be proactive and I don't know if it's even us that should be doing the work anymore I still face like every day like walking into a rehearsal room you know, if I'm doing like some like session or just like um, appearing as like a featuring artist and you know, all the people in the band are male and they're amazing men, but you know, they're just all male and there's, there's still a lot of rooms with men in, <laughs> you know, and I think that needs to change um, because it surprises me. I'm like, how comes we're talking about it so much? Like the, the issue that women are not in the music industry as, as much and not like being producers and not being like instrumentalists and then and not being like head of a label and then we walk in to places and it's like still exactly the same to to somebody that's not living it it could seem like we have made remarkable progress and um you know what more do women want but that's not good enough for me like i i want more than this for myself and for the women that I love and care about and for every woman in the world so no I think we've still got a long way to go. I think it's going in the right direction and I think now it's about trying to also promote it in a positive direction we don't need more like division it's already fucking cruel as it is and people they criticize each other so much like why do we need to focus on all the negative parts of it um if we don't want it to, like, we have to want it to get better. And I don't think that happens if you try and divide men and women all the time. The reason why we have this disbalance isn't just because we think women are inferior, it's because men are told that we're superior. And we're from a young age told to be tough and don't be emotional, don't cry, man up, suck it up, you know, be this, be the breadwinner. If you're not a bread, if, the, if your wife earns more than you, you're, you're a small man. I'm like, we're told that, we don't decide that, we're told that. So that in itself is unhealthy and that's why it needs to be inclusive. Men are talking about it a lot more amongst themselves. People who are my age, when we grew, when we grew up, men who are my age, when we grew up, you know, they were mimicking the older generation, and they just presumed, you know, women aren't going to be good, and all this. Sort of, we've inherited all of this. But those that had sisters were a bit more enlightened, and they saw the frustrations their sisters were going through. And those that married women in the industry started to see in the creative industry started to see the frustrations they were experiencing. And those that have gone on to have daughters 
are also very protective of their daughter's right to be creative and fulfil their true potential. I mean, I speak from the perspective of a father with two daughters, you know, and I, I they're very interested in music. Um, so I quite often think about what they're going to have to face, you know, and the challenges if they pursue a career in music. Um, and it's something that, as men, we have to be open to learn, you know, about those struggles um, and acknowledge them and not ignore them. Yeah, I mean, for a start, I'd be writing about completely different things. Totally. <laughs> Um, yes, is the short answer. Just from pure experience of going into a writing session every day and not seeing a woman there, means that I wouldn't be working 90% as much as I am. So I have no doubt it'd be different, yeah. Maybe, probably would. It's a difficult one. I mean, it would definitely be different, but I don't know how. Uh, I don't know whether I'd even be doing music. Ooh. I think my personality would be different if I was male, which would mean that I guess my career would be different. Yeah, I love that question actually, because I do feel like it would be different. Um, but I am so proud to be a woman and to be a mixed race woman as well. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. I think there's something really like glorious about female writing because it's articulating an experience that has been like sidelined for so long. So it's it's powerful to write about 